Hey everybody, Chris here for New Tech Wood, and today I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about the New Tech Wood railing system. So to get started, let me just say, we have a really good instructional video on how to install this system both on stairs and on your deck or patio. So this video is not gonna do that. What we are gonna do is talk through some of the features and benefits. Now this system with the railing and the post that you see here, this is made of our blend of recycled plastic and wood fibers. So again, like most new tech wood products, this is a really great one to use if you're doing a green build. It has exceptional strength, durability, and beauty. It's available in a wide variety of colors, so you can match it to your deck or patio, and it's super low maintenance. You never have to stain it, you never have to sand it, you never have to paint it. It's extremely durable. It doesn't rot, it doesn't warp, it doesn't mold, it doesn't split, and it's designed to perfectly complement our new tech wood deck products. So, I want you to look to your local building codes for rules and regulations, but these meet the International Residential Code and International Building Code special parts and instructions for deck railings and stair railings. So one note here about when you buy this. The railings are purchased separately from the posts, and the posts come one at a time. So you need to figure out the number of posts you need for your project and the number of railings that you need for your project, and you're gonna buy those separately. And know that they come in separate boxes. So everything that you see here, this is all gonna come in one box, and then this is gonna come in a separate box. The great thing is that when you do purchase that, you get everything you need for both straight railing and stair railing systems. Now, like I said, we have the training video that's gonna cover installation, so today we're going through features and benefits. And there are four main parts. You have your post, right up here, you can see that. We've got your top railing, right here. We've got your bottom railing. We've got your balusters, and you got all your hardware to make all of that work together. All right, so for your posts, this consists of a few different things. So you have your outer composite sleeve that you see right here. And then underneath that, you've got a galvanized metal insert that gives you all of the strength that you need. That can be mounted to wooden deck bases, it can be mounted to concrete, it's very versatile and it's very strong. Our posts can be used for decks and for stairs, so they're long on purpose coming out of the box, and you can cut them to length. Now that post mount, that galvanized metal mount, that provides stability. And like I said, it can be installed on concrete or wood, and that post sleeve, it gives that durable aesthetic to blend with the rest of your deck. The post skirt over here, this guy, that post skirt, it goes over the sleeve to give a nice finished bottom, just like that. And we also provide post caps and post gaskets to finish off the top edges and where the railings connect. Your top and bottom brackets, one for the top railing and one for the bottom railing, these are used to attach your railings to your posts. One thing to note here with this galvanized metal post that you have, for concrete, it's real easy. You just mark your holes, you pre-drill them, and you mount this into the concrete. For a wood deck, you wanna make sure that you have adequate support in your deck's substrate. And sometimes that's gonna mean adding a little bit more support underneath your deck to allow for the screws in each of these four holes to really bite and give you that extra support that you need. So one quick tip and just something that's important to note, these post sleeves will not fit over a wood 4x4 post. And New Tech Wood provides these great templates to help you get it just right, allowing you to mark where your screws will go so you can pre-drill your holes. So you can see, if you just hold this up just like this, you can actually tape this right to your post and then you can mark where these holes are and you can pre-drill right through that if you want to. So that's really handy. Your top and your bottom rails are both pre-drilled with these nice little holes for your balusters. And your top rail comes with a galvanized metal insert. So you can see that there. So that's gonna give you extra strength and stability because this is the rail that you're leaning up against and you wanna make sure that's really strong and supportive. Now, you're gonna wanna take that 
out. And you're gonna to wanna to cut it separately from the composite railing itself. And when you make your cut, it's actually a quarter inch shorter than the composite railing. Now, pro tip here, when you do cut your railings to length, make sure that your measurements are consistent for the top and bottom rails. So your balusters are straight and you don't wind up with a railing that looks like this. Now, your top and bottom railings both have bracket hardware that you'll screw into place. And this allows your railings to fit perfectly onto the brackets that you install on your posts. And the bottom rail gets foot brackets, like these guys, to help support its span across the length of the railing. You just wanna make sure that these are evenly spaced about every two feet. The last part of this system are the balusters. Now, these are powder-coated aluminum, and they seat into these baluster plugs. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This just slides in like this, and then this goes in here, and you're all set. So I wanna take a minute and talk about the three main ways that this converts from a straight railing system to a stair railing system. And it's really ingenious because it allows you to use all the same stuff, but you just switch out these three different parts and it converts really beautifully. One is the mounts themselves, so you can see this is your fixed mount right here that you use for your straight railing system. This one is almost identical, but you'll see here there's a hinge and it allows it to get to that perfect angle for your stairs. The next thing are these foot mounts. Now these are the ones that go underneath your bottom railing. You can see this one mounts so it stays nice and straight and then it gives that perfect support for the surface of your deck. This one gives you that angle that you need for your stairs. And you can see that the length is a little bit longer on this post, so it kind of stays even and it's gonna match the rest of the look of your deck, so that's really nice. Finally, for your balusters, we have these angled baluster plugs. So this seats in like this, and then your baluster just goes right like this. And the great thing is that all of these angles match. So it's really easy to convert this from a straight railing system to a stair railing system. Now, our installation videos take you through step-by-step -step for both straight railing systems and stair systems for a beautifully finished, safe, and secure new tech wood deck. <laughs>